and Ray Dillon. Woo! Thank you very much. I'd like to do a number here. Uh, this number is entitled Heal the Nation. The song speaks for itself and we love you all. Especially Ru and Huanados and all you folks. The number goes like this. Everybody, really. 
Oh, you're so sweet, yeah. and 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 so do you. Well, so, I do my best. Um, I like your little outfit today. This you is like pretty. That? These are my cool little Celtic threads. See, and, and Scottish. Really, I'm that's Scottish Celtic? and Irish, and you know you gotta. This this is cool, man. This, I like it. You know, sure, sure, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Jimmy, Jimmy sure. died today, by the way. Yes, folks, he you know? did. Yeah. Well, this date in history. Yes, yes but he Sadly. lives on through many. Yes, he does. And. Um, when you wrote the song Heal the Nation, I, I, I want to know like what, what transpired it and what pushed the it button. It comes to me. My songs, I, I am on a roll. But how'd you get the name? I, I got the name. Right. Just, From Ray Galindo. No, is that right? we, we, we've been trying to discuss these things. We're working together now. What, do you like have a telepathy? Um, Ray, come yeah, close I think, to us. I believe so, because I, I never... So you didn't know that he I was planning this anything. Heal the Nation thing? That no. just, you wrote this song without even knowing? I have... Demos that I did just like over six months ago that I actually wow. released. Wow! So it's like when, when I put those better. lyrics, when those lyrics were there, and like when 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 Gary and you guys were doing the, the guitar for guitar is not guns. guitar is not guns. It's like this is prophecy, man. You know. There I don't know, people well, there, that, I this know is, he is. This is man. what you call karma. Do you walk on water or something? Um, yeah. Well. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like in the wintertime, yeah, you're so modest. <laughs> so, so wait a minute, Garrett, uh, did, Ray, did you know that he didn't know that? No, I didn't. I asked him earlier about that. I said, did you write this after you saw the Hillization yeah. thing? Or, and it just turned out, it just turned out that he was writing the, he was writing and recording the song as this whole Heal the Nation thing that? was coming <laughs> together in another part of the world, you know? <laughs> That's perfect. That That's makes awesome. it even better. So like then the song is like destiny. That's when I noticed I seen your page it said Brew and Who Heal the Nation. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm we like, stole it. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. And then saw what it was all really about. I'm like, wow, this is very strange. Honestly, that's that's strange how that works. I love it. I love it. I love it because awesome. that makes it even more beautiful. I it was thought, meant to be, Ruth. Because I, I swear to God, I did think that you were inspired by the name of the tour. And then, right. so it kind of like, they, they coexisted and they just had to find each other. That's right. And they did through you and us and, and that. So let's make it work. Because well, I'm, I'm willing to do anything I have to do for that because I, you know, I believe in um, guitars. And not, not guns. guns. And I believe in Ruin Who, and I believe in all of you. So, all right. So now all we need is um, that magic wand of your Celtic powers. That's what we're going to do. To uh, <laughs> touch us all. Because today, another angel in the room besides Jimi Hendrix is Frank Morgan. And if you know who he was, he was the Wizard of Oz. Okay. So, you know, this is in memory of him as well. There we you are. Know? Everything in Oz was what color? Green. 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 Exactly. Green is good. Like green, green means go. Yeah. Yeah. Green makes it happen. Yeah. So, and green makes a lot of things happen. See you in the nation, too. That went right over it into my head. Yeah. Green apples in the summertime. Yeah, so you got any new skeletons now that we're on the green subject? I, I, my skeletons, well, I, I, I really, I remember one time we had a turtle, and this, I, this is terrible, Brenda gonna hate me for this, my sister Brenda over here. And Close I'll, your ears. And she had Hodgkins, by the way, too, lymphoma, and, and Kimmy, wow. wonderful what Kimmy's doing. But we had a turtle, a Kathy's turtle, and nobody knew, um, this is terrible. The angel guy talking. This is the Charles Jesus. Manson. That's why I love Ruth. Yes. Well, we had a little little turtle. I think his name was a hermit. It was like a little hermit turtle. And, well, Brenda, she was looking for a nail polish. I used it. I, I painted them, you see. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I painted them. You know, and, you Look, know, and, and then he, after a while, he got, it, didn't, it wasn't good. It made him sick, and, and oh. the thing died. So I tried to scrape it off, and that made it worse. With nail polish? This poor turtle, man. You know? Did you bring it back to life? The, uh, <laughs> no, but I used to put flies in the freezer for like eight hours, and they were like frozen. Oh. But when I put them on the windowsill, they came back. They thought it out. <laughs> 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 I had a turtle once that froze, and we put it on a radiator, oh. and it came back to life. Oh, man. Yeah, it's oh, true. Wow. Its head popped Don't out. tell Touche. We thought he was dead, and... and isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Yeah. It was you know what they did to Timothy Leary? They put him in the big freezer thing? Yeah. Wow. So so your skeleton is you killed a turtle. That's not very nice. Yeah, I wasn't right. responsible Sorry. for that turtle. But you know what? You know what? I hate to say it, but I paint all the time in nail polish. I always... I've never painted a turtle. I used to do paintings. I, I had... A, Broken leg as a kid, my whole cast was all nail polish. Yeah, I always paint nail polish. And my kid started doing it. I'm like, how'd you know that? And she was like, 
Genetics? <laughs> I don't know, yeah. So Ray, how about you? What kind of apple would you like? Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking about this. What about you, Ray? What do you got? Right, you want a skeleton for me? Yeah. I found a dead girl once. Oh, where? In a friend of mine's house. What, did he know her? Uh, no, actually. How did she get there? Well, you know, you know it's, it's really kind of weird because um, he was at my house. Since this was in Tampa. He was at my house. It was Thanksgiving, and we were having a barbecue in my backyard. And he had rented, he would rent rooms in his house to people he didn't even know about background checks or anything. And some guy brought a girl up there or something. And like five, like five days later, I go to his house and I smell something. Like, oh my God! Dude, you got you got a dead person in that room. You know he used to rent to old men, you know, uh, and social security checks and stuff. You know, maybe some guy died of a heart attack or something right, in the right. room or something. Like, man, you better get a you better get a key. It sounds like store. a movie I saw last you night. You open know, the like, store, man. You know, and so, <laughs> so he's like, oh no, no, it's probably just a dead cat under the house or something. You know, uh, quick wow. frame house. Oh my God! They opened up the door and there she was, oh, man. Geez. Just like. Wow. There's blood everywhere. This guy swatted her. You know, today is actually. I didn't really want to talk about something depressing. Yeah, today is really <laughs> National um, Cheeseburger Day, also. Oh, Jesus. And um, I couldn't find my cheeseburgers, but I have a really disgusting hot dog, and you win that oh, for that yeah. disgusting oh, yeah. story. Wow. And um, it's a dead hot dog. It's a dead hot dog. It's a dead hot dog. So. Send it to my friend in Florida. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> But what? Let us not forget that he's healing the nation too. Okay? I know. This is a great man right here. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, talk, talk, yeah. Talk, about talk about it. it. Talk about what we're trying to do. Nation. Okay. Well, um, we're trying to organize a tour that we're hoping to launch in the spring called Ruin Who Tour Heal the Nation. <laughs> collaboration with Guitars Not Guns and visit little towns between New York and uh, L.A. with the eventual goal being to be on a late night show um, and uh, hopefully this guy will, will get some interest in it. Uh, I don't know if we want to disclose the name just yet. But anyway, uh, that's the goal and just uh, hit little towns and maybe visit a historical site like Ford's Theater or and McKinley places Monument that or, have had or gun places problems. that might have had gun violence. Um, and, uh, you know, and Rue would do her show, little tiki bars across the nation, and, uh, you know, we'd have guests, you know, from Guitars Not Guns, kids who are being mentored. And local uh, talent. Local talent, maybe have a city official on there who might talk about what they're doing to curb gun violence in their community. For guitars uh, in like hands. That, Yeah, because know. Guitars Not Guns is all about saving kids. One. I always miss That's the right. Guitar. One by one. At a time. One kid at a time. One kid at a time. By giving them a guitar and teaching them how to play and get out their That's skeletons right. on so, the guitar. So be musicians, so we can listen to some great rock when we get old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's healing our. You know, we're part of the nation too. You got to heal us. That's right. That's right. Man. Our geriatric <laughs> music. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, I've been very busy just trying to conceptualize this thing and trying to find places that we could that would be of interest, right. you know. And maybe uh, you know, we're hoping uh, you know we can make heal a reality the show and heal the nation. And and he's working on a video. Bring it to the living room. Video. Yeah, you should see the video. Yeah, we did a preview, and I can't even say nothing about it. <laughs> The man's right here, man. Yeah. And when people collaborate together, including all the people out here that are watching us. You know, come to the websites, listen, get involved in this. You know? What are the websites? Uh, too, right? Gary's website. It tries to have guns in New York. G-N-G-N-Y dot org. org. That's right. one. And a bunch right. of Facebook pages out there too for Guitars Not Guns and Ruin Who Tour Heal the Nation. Guitars Not Guns New York Needs Guitars. And, and um, it's all about the kids. And teachers. It's about the kids. We right. need volunteer guitar yeah, teachers. Yeah. That's what we're looking for now, too. To contact Gary. Yeah. Contact Gary. And um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me anywhere. Anywhere there's angels, I'm probably there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Torrington, yeah. Connecticut. Torrington, Connecticut, you know? Yeah. That's where John Brown was born. Is that is that where like is that that's why we wanted